A Portuguese company's sustainable solution is following the sun, almost like a stalker, in a bid to get the most out of its energy. Solaris Float has developed an innovative floating solar solution that is unlike the many being installed in water bodies around the world. With single or dual axis tracking, the floating island is powered by electric engines that consume less than 0.5% of the total energy produced. The installation, named Prodevs, is the first to merge floating solar panels with sun tracking technology. The island is currently floating in Oosvoorn Meer, a lake in the southwest Netherlands. Comprising 180 mobile solar panels, Prodevs has a total installed capacity of 73 kilowatts of peak power and provides an increase in energy production by up to 40 percent, thanks to its sophisticated technology that permits its double-sided panels to turn according to the sun's movement. The company offers two types of solutions. The first is the Prodevs Plus, which features 180 modules with dual-axis tracking. It has a diameter of 38 meters and occupies an area of 1,444 square meters. The panels move vertically. The second solution is the Prodev Single 360, which works on a single axis. It has PV modules on a fixed slope of 10 degrees and features 360 modules. Prodev Single 360 has an installed capacity of 147 kilowatts of peak power for 410 watt panels. According to Solaris Float, the Prodev solutions are modular, detachable, and scalable, with an easy installation process. As they can be detached, the islands can even be merged to form a floating solar farm, goes above and beyond the precedent environmental impact. The shadows formed in the floating structure and PV panels, resulting in a superficial temperature reduction, which is beneficial to the aquatic ecosystem. Solaris Float claims a 60% reduction of evaporation in the body of water. Secondly, the water quality is likely to increase due to the reduction of algae and the reproduction of other microorganisms, which can take place due to the aforementioned shadowing effect. This can be further enhanced by the installation of water oxygenating equipment. Sun tracking solar farms come with limitations. The location is the first. Considering produce systems, they won't be efficient near the equator as the panels will stay horizontal the whole day. They will also need to be installed in places with weaker tidal currents. Nevertheless, such floating solar farms can be largely beneficial in the long run, especially considering the space needed to set up solar farms.